Hello everyone and welcome to a video on the EDB Real Rockets mod in Kerbal Space Program 1.8.1 with Realism Overhaul. These parts were made for Realism Overhaul. They technically could work in stock if you remove the folder with the Realism Overhaul configurations, and, but I don't know how well they are balanced or anything like that. Uh, I certainly have not placed them in any particular location in the tech tree or priced them in any particular way, so keep that in mind. But the rockets involved are the Ariane 6, Atlas 5, GSLV Mark 3, Launcher 1, Long March 3B, New Glenn, Pegasus, Starship, and Vulcan. However, for each of these nine rockets, there are certain components that aren't included in the packs, and I want to talk about how to put them together. So we see here Ariane 6, which is the newest edition. But let's say you were going to put it together, you type in Ariane in the field up there and you should be able to get all the parts involved. And there is no payload adapter included on this one, so we start with the second stage here. And uh, I am aware that the textures uh, for uh, Ariane 6 might look a little bit different. This was based on one image, uh, I think it was on Wikipedia to be honest. I will update the textures with a completely white texture and I think it's a blue stripes on the tanks uh, later on closer to when they finally make the rocket. Uh, but here we have the Vinci engine and the Vinci engine does have an extendable nozzle. Okay, but uh, that doesn't change performance. The performance will be consistent whether you extend a nozzle or not. There is RCS on the tanks that uses hydrazine. There's no payload adapter, so you'll have to find one of those on your own, but there are fairings. Um, there are some other fairings in here that are from an Ariane 5 mod, but this is the Ariane 6 fairing that I made. And then the first stage tank comes with the decoupler, the interstage, so it's not a separate part. And of course we want to rotate that. And then the booster decouplers are available here. They are just surface mounted, as you can see, four of them. Uh, they have a node for the booster core and should be able to separate that off. And there are booster nose cones. Uh, I might want to touch up the thrust on these. They've been separating, but not perfectly. So uh, these do have uh, separatrons built in and maybe you could use them for other things. I haven't put tweak scale on, maybe later on I'll put tweak scale on, but uh, finally we want to put the Volcane 2 engine, which is down here, has a node there, and so we have our Ariane 6. That's how you put it together, and those are the parts for that. Uh, next rocket, Atlas 5. There is an Atlas 5 400 series and 500 series. This is what the 400 series looks like. And so if we type in Atlas 5, now I have Atlas 5 from different mods as well, so we need to be clear about which one I'm using. Uh, but it looks like the stuff has popped up. So um, for the 400 series, we'll start with the Centaur. And we should put on the RL10, sorry, this little thing in the way, RL10C engine. I don't have an extendable nozzle on this one. It's got a little bit of a frosty texture and we will want to uh, we've sort of got a sort of payload adapter but there's no decoupler at the top there in this case so keep that in mind and i also did not make the boosters so there are multiple mods that include the aj60 boosters for the atlas 5 if i recall correctly okay so this is the adapter down here and the fairings uh, there are different sizes of fairings so this is one size and also there is um, a smaller fairing and I think there's a larger fairing. So those are our sizes of fairings and then the first stage tank and then the engine pack. So the engines are just put together like that and I think that does it. So that's the 400 series type, but if we wanted a 500 series, we would instead use uh, this interstage adapter and this uh, boat tail. So first the interstage adapter goes on like that, covering up the bottom end of the centaur, and then the boat tail goes on like, oops, 
goes on like that. And then we have the five meter fairings. There are three sizes of that too. Um, for some reason I have two long fairings. I think, uh, well this one, oh that, that's an adjusted one for the monument launcher. Ignore that, that, that won't be part of the pack. Um, it includes the, the whatever that thing is called, but it's a uh, part of the fairing now of forward, uh, forward load reactor, something like that. Anyway, but that's just, uh, instead of being a separate part, it's part of the fairing. So, yeah, and then the rest of the rocket is the same. So, yep, you can put the fairing on like that. So that's the Atlas V. Uh, next up, uh, that's a relatively recent one. The next one is an older rocket, so it's not quite as... Uh, and I think we can just type GSLV MK. Actually, just GSLV should probably do it. Uh, so that'll bring up the parts. And yeah, a little bit older, so not quite as spiffy on the texturing. And the upper stage engine is the CE20 or the GSLV Mark III. Once again, the lower stage, the inner stage is built in. And actually all of this needs to be turned around, I think. I think the pipes are actually on the front end. I'll have to check that. Uh, but then we have the HP VE1 core engines and there are two of them. So go like this, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's like that. Could do with some touch up on those. Now, among the things that I did not make for this, the payload adapter and the decouplers. So you're going to have to put your own decouplers, possibly your own separatrons. Ooh, four boosters, that could be very interesting, but no, it'll get in the way of these uh, fairings. So that's what the boosters look like, but you'll need to put your own decouplers on. And we have payload fairings. And these are just sort of the standard size for GSLV. So they go like that and they should decouple fine. Um, might have put the wrong icon for them though. So yep, that is the GSLV Mark III. Uh, next up is one of my earliest efforts, so not very good, but uh, your usage of this will probably be fairly rare. It's Launcher 1 and Launcher 1, these are very, very plain sort of textures. I mostly focus on putting the sort of decals, if you will. So we've got a payload adapter, which is just a little gray thing, and a second stage tank. If Launcher 1 actually does stuff that's impressive, um, or you know, get something to orbit, maybe I'll update this a bit. Okay, so Newton 4 engine is just a simple sort of nozzle engine. It's just a, basically a nozzle that goes on there. And then we have the first stage decoupler, which goes on like that. And then the first stage tank with the launcher one sort of thing. And then finally the Newton 3 engine. These are both kerosene oxygen stages, as you can see. And we have fins, though you'll have to do some rotation to get it right. And that's unavoidable because they have to be oriented a certain way in the in unity to be brought in right uh, I think they're sort of like that something like that okay and then we have fairings we do have fairings and it's got the virgin orbit logo on that so it's like that and yeah I think the payload adapter has a decoupler on it yes it does so that's all set um, if you were to just launch it vertically like this without launching it on a plane, it's got plenty of delta V so it can carry a payload. You could just, you know, launch it like this if you want to. Um, the payload won't, capacity won't be quite as good as if you launched it with a 747 first, but there you are. Anyway, next up, Long March 3B. There's also an older one, so it's got fairly plain textures. Um, this is a little bit more complicated to assemble. There's three stages. So we'll start with the third stage tank. It doesn't have a payload adapter or fairings, so I recommend procedural fairings for it. And here we have a mounting point for two, two engines. These are the third stage engines here, YF-75. Um, I could probably do with adding some uh, textures unlimited to them. So that might be an, an update. This is all work in progress as far as I'm concerned. So second stage decoupler. And then of course the second stage tank. 
And the second stage is probably the more complicated one. And we need the second stage engine, YF20, at the center. And then we also need these verniers. The verniers will only go in one way. So you can see it's not going in like that or like that. So we'd have to rotate it, and then once we rotate it, it'll snap in and be in the right orientation. And then here, it's not going to go in like that, but it'll go in like that. All right, so that ensures that they are going to, because they are only single axis gimbling. So they only gimbal in one axis, 20 degrees. So, yep, uh, they have to be placed precisely. And then the first stage, again, comes with its own decoupler. Uh, interstage and everything built in to minimize on part usage. Oops. There is hot staging for this stage that works or should work. Okay, and then this is the YF21 engine. That's the first stage engine here, and it even has boosters. It is such a complicated rocket. We've got booster decouplers, they have nodes uh, I've put on here. Uh, they uh, release in pairs, I think, so I've put them in pair symmetry here. So that's how that goes. And then uh, these are the Long March 3 boosters. And the boosters have fins even, so... You're gonna have to put those on as well. So boosters and then booster fins. And again, we've got the rotation thing to deal with. Okay, and so then we have a Long March 3B, and uh, there's a, uh, with procedural fairings, there's a Long March procedural fairing texture. Uh, that's one reason why I just left the, left the payload fairing to be a procedural fairing. Okay, so that is Long March 3B. Next up, and I'm just going in alphabetical order here, New Glen. That's one of the newer ones. So just typing in New Glenn, very simple rocket by comparison. Uh, this is the upper stage. It does have a decoupler at the top and a pseudo payload fairing. Uh, uh, sorry, payload adapter. Uh, and uh, we have the BE3U engine, which comes with the mod. There's two of them on here. Okay, and then we also have the seven meter fairings. I forget which side they're actually supposed to be on. I think really these should be on this side, not on that side. There's a little nick there. Still have some work to do on the textures. Okay, so that is those stages. Again, the inner stage is built into the first stage. And the first stage has a command module and SAS and all that so that it can be recovered, potentially. It not only has the decoupler, it also has the landing legs. So very simple. Try to make sure that we have minimal part count. But, you know, it's going to have seven engines at the bottom anyway. So if we lower legs here, uh, they're very simple legs. I didn't make them fancy or anything, but at least they're there. And then uh, BE4 uh, engine is actually part of the Vulcan pack. And I added it to this. The nodes are like that. It's sort of floaty. Sorry about that. I misjudged where the bottom of the tank ought to be in this case. And you have to put them on individually. I think that the New Glen BE3, uh, sorry, BE4s are probably going to have a bigger nozzle. They look a little bit small here. They might have a bigger nozzle than the Vulcan BE4s, but I'm not sure. So anyway, uh, I don't have the fins on here. That's something else that's missing on this particular rocket, so keep that in mind. You're going to have to use procedural... Um, wings from a B9 procedural wings to make the fins, but uh, B9 procedural wings is actually pretty good at that. You can get the blue color pretty easily, so no problems there. Staging is, of course, wrong here. I hope you can figure that out. And so we move on to Pegasus. So Pegasus is uh, was, I think, the first one I made of uh, all of these, so it's pretty crappy. Um, there's an instrument unit, and we've got the Orion 38 stage here. You'll still need a payload adapter, that's not included. And then we need the Orion 50XL. And actually we'll need a decoupler there. The Orion 50XL does not uh, have a built-in decoupler because it's got the engine there. So a procedural decoupler will be necessary here. 
and then we have to make sure it's a decoupler point that's mounted and inside there. Technically, I think this should probably extend all the way up to the top there, but yep, a few flaws. And there are two asymmetric fairings, right fairing, and the left fairing actually has the top bit, as you can see. So that's a peculiarity. And then we have the first stage decoupler, and then the first stage. So stuff that's missing from this, the wings and other fins. So that's something you're going to need to add as well. But otherwise, here it is. You can see it's delta V. Not huge on the payload, to be honest. But it's got so much thrust weight ratio that if you did launch it vertically right now, like this, you could probably get something up. Yeah, uh, two, uh, thrust weight ratio of 2 at the start with 9,641. And the staging is a little bit incorrect, but I think it yields the right delta V reading right now. Okay, so... On to Starship. Starship has lots of options. Um, so there's the lander version, which nobody wants. There's the regular body that I made originally. What it doesn't have is the fins, but the regular body has a space for the crew pod, which can potentially eject. It's got a, um, what you call it? Uh, it's got separatrons if you will it's got the ability to eject out so you can configure the decoupler and use the solid fuel in there to get it out as an escape pod i did not make the engines for this uh, so that's reliant on the real engine pack which has the raptor engines because they already made the raptor engines i didn't so this is the crude one, and then there's a lunar lander variant. And so this lunar lander variant looks like this. It doesn't have a separate crew pod because it's not going to be launched with crew. The crew will rendezvous with it. Uh, it has the landing thrusters. In uh, of course, you're going to have to put the regular Raptors on the bottom. It's got a built-in RCS. Uh, the other body also has built-in RCS, and instead of a hatch it has this sort of elevator thing that doesn't totally totally work so still working on that in theory but I actually don't know how to fix it I thought that what I did with that would work and it didn't quite work out it's complicated because you can't attach anything to uh, animated part so yeah a little bit messy. Of course there is super heavy oh and uh, other options instead of just uh, this lander there is also a cargo version. So cargo starship is up here. So this is if you didn't want the crew pod. Sorry, I kept the crew pod texture, but there isn't actually a crew pod. It opens like this. It's not quite like the uh, SpaceX one, but it'll certainly allow you to clear your payload out. So you'll have that area as payload area. Uh, this face does have a node on it for payload uh, attachment. Okay, and then there's actually Starship Tank alone. That's another thing. That's if you wanted to put a regular payload fairing on top. Uh, that is an option here. So you can just put your Raptor engines and use payload fairing. So again, no wings, no fins. Uh, that will have to be B9 procedural wings or such. And then uh, Super Heavy. Again, I didn't add the engines. Uh, Super Heavy is just a bloody tank, basically. That's all I made. It has the control core in it, and it has the decoupler built in, uh, and it has the fins, uh, which have changed. But you'll have to put your own engines, so whatever engine count they want, you can change it to that. There are nodes at the bottom here, though, so if you, uh, it depends on which arrangement. But you can see there are 37 nodes for an up to 37 engine count there. Good luck. <laughs> There's no symmetry involved. And no grid fins, no thrusters at the top here. Very, it's a simple dumb tank, basically. Okay, so that is Starship, basically. Those are the tanks that are involved. I don't know why they're all the, these other things pop up, but there we are. Well, I put Super instead. Okay, last rocket is Vulcan. Uh, that's not how you spell Vulcan. Vulcan. Okay, so the Vulcan rocket 
we have the atlas the, oh no that's the centaur stage all right okay well this is a little bit complicated so there's an option for the common centaur which is this one that we saw with the atlas 5 so if you use this and you use this you can use that with vulcan by attaching this inner stage and then that'll attach to the first stage tank of vulcan so you can use the regular centaur with it however that's obviously not its intended use uh, the way it's supposed to be done is we've got a centaur x here and that will take two rl 10 cs that's part of the atlas 5 folder so two of those and then a centaur x inner stage we can just rotate here and then uh, vulcan short fairings probably they're actually on the other side and the Vulcan first stage tank and finally the BE4 engines so the BE4 engines actually are in the um, oh there's a fairing thing and it's an engine mount and then the BE4 engines are in the Vulcan folder even though they also go on the new Glenn. So that is what we have. I did not include the SRBs because other mods like uh, have the Gem 63 XLs. So I decided that that was not necessary. So that is the Vulcan rocket. So those are our nine rockets in this pack and how to put them together. I hope that's clear. And oh, there's a decoupled, that's not mine. So anyway, so hopefully people get used to out of these. There's varying quality to them, obviously, because I basically learned how to model along the way. So, and I'm still improving on that. So I hope the quality is acceptable, but improvements will be made. If you have any suggestions or uh, requests, uh, you can feel free to make those. But anyway, with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.